But we're in Birmingham and it wouldn't be right if we didn't catch up with the Yafai brothers, the beating heart of Brummy Boxing. So many experiences with you guys over the years. Gamal retired now. Maybe. How's retired? <laughs> Maybe. 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 Is that how it works? Yeah. You look, you look as though you're still in shape. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What, what are you thinking? I don't know. We'll we see. We just have to take a step back from boxing, you know, um, and go just enjoying life a bit. Do you miss it? Yeah, I love boxing, man. Is that is that one of the reasons that, you know, probably in your head after that last fight, it's like, maybe it's time, but then you have a few months off and... You, you know see what, a lot of fighters go back, don't you? Yeah, it's just... I know a lot of it would have, is down to inactivity um, the last few years. So maybe I think if I was active, have a few more small shuttles fights and come back on the big, big fights after, I've had a good few fights then. We'll see. But in the meantime, cheering this yeah, man on. Yeah, it's about him, not about me. This about one's him. still got a few more chapters. Yeah. Last time out in Abu Dhabi, I mean, we've had some great experience. You were one of the first fighters we, we signed, really, when we started becoming prominent of signing the amateurs. Yeah. Obviously, you was in the Olympics as well, come through, won a world title, one of those classic debut to world championships as well. Highlight of your professional career so far? One of my highlights of your career was definitely Fresno. Remember Fresno. that night? Fresno. On a top rank show, we got the opportunity. We weren't really promoting in America at the time. A yeah, few yeah, small yeah. bits and pieces. We still talk about that trip now, maybe yeah. And I was, in, I was in Japan for Jamie McDonald against Inoue. And I landed one day there and then flew straight to Fresno. And I'll never forget, you know, the, the thing that stands in my memory the most about that night, outside of your great performance? I turned up at the Holiday Inn and they never had a room for me. And I had to top to toe with Frank Smith. It was the worst experience in my life, honestly. I love boxing. Got a nice ranking with the WBA, and I'm sure you can work some magic. Let's talk about this man. I think he's quite, he's quite a strange character, isn't he? I want to get strange. Yeah, I think you're quite strange. <laughs> like he's so talented, he's achieved so strange, much, yeah. and he's just like, you know, like I reckon he won Olympic gold. I reckon he's done about three Instagram posts since he won Olympic gold. You might I mean, just take over my page. Mate, oh, you won't let us take over no, your Instagram. You know, you, all you fighters talk a great game. And I said to him a million times, just let us run your Instagram account. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Mate, if that was me, imagine how many posts I'd have the gold medal. I'd be, like, laying there doing a, maybe a naked photo no, shoot everyone, with a medal. No, but would think and... I was a prick, wouldn't I? Excuse my French. <laughs> yeah, but don't worry, I've been doing it for no, years. No, wouldn't it? No, I just... I don't know, it's just my personality. I don't want to be somebody that I'm not. I feel like to promote a fighter, you really need to know and understand a fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's look at this as like a little bit of a therapy session. Yeah. Tell me about your brother. He's not you a You to start. You be quiet, you. No, no, no it's obviously, uh, me and Gal lived together for years. So, so we, we moved out my mum's, we rented together for three years. And Don't pretty, tell him everything. Yeah. Yeah. Tell him everything. I need to know. I need to <laughs> know about it. <laughs> no, no, he, he was pretty much the same, you know. He's pretty much the same. To be fair, so yeah, he was out a bit more than what he should have. But he's, we just so he's a, so you're telling me he's a party. You know? No, no, yeah. He well, can't I'm not. You used to rock a little night out yeah, when you're nice. in your younger days. Yeah, but I'm a bit old now, isn't it? Like everyone else tells me, I'm 30 years old. Nah, listen. See now, in the in the summer before it was, like now it's. Have coffees, chill out. Yeah. You know Gal's I mean? the most was... boring man I've ever met. <laughs> yeah, boring. But this is a problem. No, 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 there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Because like, it keeps him, yeah, to the way dedicated. he is. He's, just, he's dedicated to And the only thing is that I don't know what he's like. He's like, if I, if I start poking all the time, if I start going out, doing this, doing that, people just think, that ain't Galau though. Yeah. That ain't Galau. Galau, Galau why is Galau poked all the time? So when we're promoting Galau, Galau yeah. right? Got, but he's gonna have to, Ed. You know what? He's gonna have to be very good. That's the thing. That's the but thing. I think I've just accepted but, that. But, but he's I've gonna be. He's gonna I've be. accepted that Galau is not gonna go to the opening of events that we're yeah, asking yeah, him to yeah, go yeah. to. I might do. I saw you at GQ, remember? Mate, you didn't even want to be there. You know <laughs> what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You just like standing there, looking, playing on your phone or something. I don't know, Candy Crush or something. <laughs> I don't know, whatever it was, right? And like, you're not gonna <laughs> scream and shout. You're not yeah. going to stick the nut in at press conferences. But I actually don't mind that because of how good he is. He's very good, and yeah. Because of the, the, you, you're under more pressure, though. Yeah. Because if you're not willing to be a promotional butterfly, yeah. you've got to be really, really good. I know, but, but, he, I think but he knows that. I'm, yeah. We're having a conversation here. Oh, sorry, mate. Right? Sorry, no. How good is he? Very good. How good? 
But very good. He's very good. They're gonna say that oh, no, 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 I'm, no, say I'm not. I'm not. Get out. You should know me. Can he beat everybody in the division? Yeah. Now. Everybody yeah. in the division. Um, everyone. I, I'd be confident of being everyone in the division. Um, hundred percent. Maybe Bam Bam. I'd want him to have a few more fights. Beat Sonny Edwards. Yeah. I think so. Not starting any rift, but you know, one day that's going to be a big rivalry. I'll do it now. I'll do it. But what, what do you think makes yeah. him special? As a fighter, he can do he can do everything. Yeah, he can do everything. He's got fitness is not an issue. His work rate's unreal. His punch repertoire is unreal. He's got fast hands. He the, the main opponents. thing he can do is cut the ring off very good. He's got good feet. People don't look at that. That's his main attribute. Without his good feet, he would be half fighter. What about the mind? Strong mentally. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. bloody hell, you can put him anywhere, he's just mm. like, I'm not bothered. But you have to be strong mentally to be in the Olympic final and just be like, yeah, I'm going to go out there and put mm. the ski on his ass in mm. the first round. So, Galau, yeah. party animal, always in trouble as a kid. <laughs> nah, Galau nah, was nah, a nah, good nah, one. He was just too... Was, oh, not no, him. but I'm trying to build a story. <laughs> OK. Come on, let me do my job. <laughs> All right, sorry. Went to prison three times. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, <Yeah>. juvenile. <laughs> yeah. Juvenile delinquent, you know. But for you, like, you just... The amount of times, like, we'll say, get the Galau to do this, or, you know, you really not... What, what do you want in your career, in your life? What, what drives you? Um, I want to be champion, like, I'm Olympic champion. So that's one box tick. But I need to be world champion. I need but to when you won the Olympics, like, you're so cool with it. You, you know what it is? You don't know You didn't even it. look that bothered. No, you know, if you were actually there, you would think worse. Like, you weren't actually there. I was really laid back when I won gold. Like, when everyone met me at the airport, I hated it. I was just like, I just want to go home, have a coffee and just chill. But when you won that Olympic gold... Yeah. Like, you didn't even go crazy. I know, I didn't. I didn't. But what was the feeling? I mean, absolute lifelong ambition for you. Yeah. Like I'm sure you've got other things in your life, but boxing is everything. Yeah, everything, yeah. But you win Olympic gold, which is the absolute creme de la creme, highlight of amateur boxing. Yeah. Is it, there's more to come? Because I, a lot of people that I speak to who have this greatness, it's like, it's never enough. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So like when you win a world title, that's not going to be yeah. necessarily enough for you to say, oh, job done. So yeah. is it just, it's never enough? I mean, yeah, the, yeah, like I just think- the Satisfaction of winning the Olympic gold or? Yeah, you know, it, it's brilliant when Olympic gold, but then it goes, you know, that feeling goes after a bit and then it's, I want the next goal now. I need to be world champion. And then I'm not world champion yet, but then it'll be, I want to be undisputed. And then I want to move, maybe move to another weight. I always got new goals. I think if I just look at my goals and think, I've done that now, I can just chill. Then I'll just, that's when I'll lose. And I'll be no good. I mean, the one thing that you're doing is you're setting a fantastic pace when the bell goes. Yeah. I mean, in your last fight, which I don't think was your best performance, and yeah. that was difficult in Abu Dhabi because you just come back I think you were throwing up in the changing room or you, yeah. you didn't feel great after yeah. the fight. You're in the changing room with him. You've then got to go out to fight as well. But your work rate, like, like you said, from that first bell, is that, is that going to be your style in the pros or just the style you're adopting at this current level? I think, yeah, well, I think that's always been my style. If you watch me in the Olympics, it was always just... It's not just being... Um, it's being relentless, but being smart with it as well. Um, Abu Dhabi, it was a bit tough with Cal and, and things like that, but honestly, no excuses. I had a bad injury. Like, them kids, are, he was a good kid as well. Mm. Um, he was a good kid. Um, but I know I do a job, I do a job on them kids normally. Because I know then he's not as good as the kids I fought in the Olympics. Um, if I fought the way I did in that fight in the Olympics, I wouldn't be a living champion. Mm. Um, but people are going to look at that and say maybe he's not as good as what we fought, but it's all right, I don't mind. You know, I've had it before and I'm sure I'll have it again. You come up to me before we started filming and you went, yeah. hey, you don't think this Tommy Frank can beat me, do you? Yeah. I mean, are you like, you go into a fight like this, are you kind of under-motivated a little bit because you don't think he's at your level no. or just you understand you have to do the job and look good? You've got to look good. I mean, yeah. you've got to really yeah. show your levels on Saturday night. Yeah, nah, if anything, I'm more motivated. Like the last fight I fought, a Mexican just says hello, walks off, see him when I fight and he's done. He actually thinks he can be, beat me, mm. which is, I find, like, I know it sounds stupid and I say it to come and come, I find it disrespectful. Mm. So I think, how do you think you can beat but me? But you're not going like, to sit out there and go, I, I can't know, win this that's fight. That's what I'm saying to I know, but I, and, and Cal says that to me, but I still find it disrespectful. Maybe if he was at a level where he was a former world champion or, you know, if I'm fighting a Bam Rodriguez or Swin Edwards, they're going to think they can beat me, of course. They're at that level, they're that good. But I just think, 
How would you think you can beat me? But we'll see on Saturday. Birmingham? Yeah. Obviously important. You guys boxed in Birmingham a couple of times. I mean, again, educate me. Why has boxing in Birmingham never really worked? It seems like the public don't really buy tickets on the box office, but the fighters sell a lot of tickets. You've got like these pockets of support. You've got like uh, Ibrahim Suleiman sold 500 tickets. Yeah. You've got Sahil Khan sold 430 tickets. You guys, you've done your few hundred tickets, etc. What's what's the scene like on Birmingham? Sold, uh, sold a load of tickets as well. Surely. Like, we went to Acox last night. Unbelievable turnout. Like, boxing is a big part of the community here. Should, should be bigger shows. Should be bigger. Um, never known why. I remember Rob McCracken said the same, mm. even when he used to box. Maybe it's, if I was a heavyweight, it'd be different. Well, no, but maybe if you're going to fight at that level, elite level, and when we talk yeah. about that elite level, big fight coming up, which you're asking to be on the undercard of as well, and I think that would be a good fit yeah. as well. I think we should talk about Sonny Edwards against Bam Rodriguez. Yeah. Let's talk about mindset of a fighter. I think one of Sonny's greatest strengths is his mind. Because call it confidence, call it delusion, I can't think you can say that because of what he's achieved. He has absolutely no doubts. You know, when you talk about Tommy Frank, maybe it's a little bit of, I've got to say this and I've yeah, got to... Yeah. But in Sonny's head, there is no way... I don't think Sonny thinks he can lose a round against Bam Rodriguez. Individually, what happens in that fight? I'd think Bam Bam would should win. Sonny's obviously good, but I just think the things to beat Sonny would be the things that Bam Bam has. Like you say, cut the ring off well, um, count as well, aggressive. So I would say Bam Bam, yeah, and I think Bam Bam, Bam will win. But it w like you say, I won't be surprised if Sonny wins. And if he wins, fair play, because Bam Bam's a very good fighter. Yeah. It just depends how Bam Rodriguez turns up as well, as well as what Sonny does. Because Sonny's good on the back foot. I know the Americans don't like that. And Arizona, it's just like being in Texas. Mm. So it's going to be pro Rodriguez. I'm sure he does believe in himself and, I, and he's capable of winning the fight. If he does, then obviously he's in, he's in business then. Many rounds with Sonny. Yeah. Give, him a, give him a big chance in the fight? Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm going to stand the fence, though, you know, Ed. I'm going to stand the fence. You can't force me for answer here. Um, I'll get along with Sonny. Yeah, he can be mouthy and that, but he's a good little fighter. Um, but yeah, we spar loads. Um, it's a big fight, you two. Yeah, you should get, you know, we should spar one more time and get the cameras in. Yeah, yeah. good spars? Yeah, very good. You believe you can beat him? I, I, I believe I can beat him, but I don't want to be disrespectful and speak about world champion and say, yeah, I think I can beat him, because every boxer says that, I don't know, and I think, I think I can beat him, but I need experience. I don't want to sell myself too short and then give them a chance to fight me when I've only had five fights or four fights um, and make it easy for them. But they can fight me whenever I seven, eight fights, and it'd be a lot harder. Um, but yeah, to fight down the, down the road, I'm sure. We know you've got business to take care of on Saturday, but yeah. your top three dream fights right now, flyweight, super flyweight, who would you okay. love to share the ring with? I think Sonny's got to be one of them. I think because it's an all British thing. I've got to be history as well. Um, I would say Roman Gonzalez, but you know what? I'm a, I'm a big fan of him. Sorry, Carl. I know he beat you and that. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> what a great story. I'm I love sorry. the story. We've got, yeah. we got this promotion wrapped but, up. No, yeah, we no. could bring Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez to Birmingham. I'd right? still struggle with him, probably. What? Even when he's 45, he's that good. <laughs> well, we still struggle. I know, but it's like, it's the revenge. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, we could do, yeah. It depends. Maybe when Galal's about 34. You know <laughs> you what's think? unbelievable about Chocolatito is? I was so convinced you were going to win that fight. I think we all so were. Was I. And I just thought, listen, he's a legend, but I just thought, we are getting him at the perfect time. He's still an unbelievable fighter, but Cal's going to beat him. This is a great time to fight him. How many years ago was that? Three years ago. <laughs> Three, more than that, wasn't it? More than yeah. Three and a half years. Three and a half years ago, and he's still going strong now. You know, I mean, people thought he might beat Estrada in the last fight, like, unbelievable fighter. So, chocolate eater. Yeah. So this is an official call-out video. Nah, I wouldn't do that. Don't do that. Sonny Quit Edwards, out. are you watching? Nah, nah, nah. Chocolatito. Chocolatito. Only because I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of him again. I'm sorry, Carl. We need, um, yeah, but we need to see how he is in his next fight. Yeah, we yeah, Chocolatito. Yeah, because if no. he's still the same... No, we'll still... Don't let him have another fight. Let him wait. Just in case he's done. Nah, because I'm, 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 be, be I'm, I'm like his advisor. Oh, yeah. OK. Nah, I'm nah, good at it. I wanted Martinez, to be watched. Martinez, good fight for you. Martinez is a good fight, but I, I do like Bama's. I think Bama's a really mm. good fighter. See, I'm Estrada. Not, I mean, Estrada's a good fighter, but I don't want the, I don't want the older fighters too much. Because if you beat him, it's like you're going after the old fighters. 
Oh, you want the good fighters, you know, Bam Rodriguez, Sonny Edwards, Martinez, then you get a bit That's of a good thing there. about the division, though. Everyone genuinely Everyone's wants the, the big fights. But the Lackins are good fighters, though. Before we wrap up, talk about the childhood. Right? Who was the naughtiest boy out of the FI family? Oh, Gamal Valdez. Was it? <laughs> Why? She's a cheeky little shit, right? Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Always trying to beat up people and that. Funniest? Still, still adore. Funniest? Gamal, so. Gamal. Gamal. Yeah. Yeah, because, he, awards. yeah, because because of his uh, his his ways and the way he goes about things. Now nah, you know what it is. I like to be just a straight up geezer. <laughs> and of course, no, everyone always don't says, be around like, the bush, Who was who was mummy's favourite? Do you know what I mean? When you got three brothers, uh, it's like it's always. You, you know he's your favourite. I know he's your favourite. You know Probably what? Cal. I, nah, nah, not he's anymore. It's Adam. Adam's yeah. a favourite now. Isn't yeah, he? but Cal was oldest. He's the first first uh, first, first child. Yeah. But now I'm a favourite because I'm an Olympic on my list. Is that right? And you're bringing in the money, probably. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, no, pay no, off no, any, like, any existing <laughs> mortgages on any other properties. You know, listen, he's on a few quid. I know you've done all right in your career, and you've done all right, but not as good as him. But, oi, if he keeps going, make sure he looks after you two. I'm missing more than this. Fucking hell, man. I'm missing. Sorry. What, Ty? I'm Tom, Is it? He's not allowed. I'm Ty, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Like, to be fair, he took us. Who's tighter out of these two? But him by far. Yeah. Cal, yeah, Cal, Cal, Cal was always good nah, to I me. I, I think I'm ultra generous. <laughs> yeah, Cal was always honest. good to me, to be fair. Listen, Mr. McCracken, a big part of your journey as well. He's a good man, Robbie. You know, he, he looks after me in and out of the ring. Um, obviously, he's trained in numerous world champions. Um, Cal, he helped with Gamal, myself. He's up with GB and he, you know, he gets medals, so uh, he, he's a good man. Happy up there in GP? Unbelievable facilities. I mean, yeah. spent your entire amateur career there as well. Yeah, you know what I mean? I don't care where I train. As long as I get to work in, I'm fit. Um, the fight is where I get to enjoy it. The training, I could train anywhere. I don't, I don't really care. Um, a lot of people said, you want to stay up Sheffield? You've been not here for years. Um, I don't really care. I train anywhere. Well, there you have it. Unquestionably, the most uncomplicated man in world boxing. Allow your fire. <laughs> Luckily for us, one of the best fighters in world boxing as well. This has been Eddie Hearn with the fantastic Yafai brothers.